Samsung is introducing three new smartphones in the Galaxy S22 series. But the biggest news is the S22 Ultra, and not just because of its 6.8 inch display. It is the first S-Series phone with a built-in S Pen, so it basically replaces the Note. And you're getting much faster S Pen performance than before, actually it's 70% faster, so it feels like pen and paper. And there is a revamped camera system that does a lot more with the 108 megapixel camera, better pictures in low light, better portraits down to the human hair, uh, and all sorts of other goodies. Let's go take our first look. The Galaxy S22 Ultra basically looks like a Galaxy Note, and we're not complaining. You get sharp angles and squared off edges, and the S Pen holster is built right into the phone. That's right, there's an S Pen inside the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and it just got even better. Samsung says that the latency has been reduced from 9 milliseconds to just 2.8 milliseconds, which is a 70% speed boost. Plus, Samsung says that the AI can predict the direction of your hand movement to deliver an experience that's closer to pen and paper. The handwriting to text is improved as well. The S22 Ultra's camera array is sleeker this time around because instead of a pronounced bump, there's lenses that sit more flush with the rest of the design, and we dig the minimalist look. The curved display is eye-catching, but not so pronounced that it leads to accidental touches, which is key. The Ultra seems built pretty tough, as it includes an armor aluminum frame, along with a new Gorilla Glass Victus Plus back that's more drop and scratch resistant. In terms of colors, the S22 Ultra will be available in black, white, green, and burgundy, and the gleaming white model definitely stands out most. The Galaxy S22 Ultra's display is a 2K AMOLED panel that gives you a 120Hz refresh rate for smooth scrolling and fluid animations. But now there's two standout upgrades. One is the 1200 nits of brightness, which reaches a peak of 1750 nits in direct sunlight. And the other is a new vision boost feature that adjusts the color and contrast based on the ambient lighting conditions. We didn't get a chance to take the S22 Ultra outside yet, but this panel delivers vibrant colors and wide viewing angles while watching the Netflix 2022 movie preview. The Galaxy S22 Ultra's camera system offers some serious upgrades. As with the S21 Ultra, you get four main rear sensors consisting of a 108 megapixel wide camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and dual telephoto lenses with up to 10x optical zoom and 100x space zoom. But the main sensor is now 23% larger and adaptive pixel technology is used to give you brighter looking results without having to engage night mode. I noticed right away that the zoom shots look sharper on this camera than the S21 Ultra, such as when I zoomed in on the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra from across the room. I could make out individual keys on the keyboard and display icons with ease. If you're taking a group shot, advanced auto framing can detect up to 10 subjects and optimize the focus and zoom angle, and a new AI stereo depth map enables better looking portraits that can separate the subject from the background down to a single strand of hair. Other camera highlights include an improved super steady mode for video and a 40 megapixel front camera for selfies. Now for some bad news. The Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with just eight gigs of RAM that's paired with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. You get Samsung's own Exynos 2200 CPU in international markets. That's a downgrade from the 12 gigs of RAM in last year's Galaxy S21 Ultra, so you'll have to pay more if you want additional memory. At least there's more max storage this time, as you can opt for 256, 512, or one terabyte now. Just don't expect microSD expansion. A large 5,000 milliamp hour battery powers the Galaxy S22 Ultra, so we're expecting this phone to last all day. And while you don't get a charger in the box, the S22 Ultra supports faster 45 watt charging, so you can get to 50% capacity in just 20 minutes. Based on our first look of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, I'm really impressed with the design and the versatility of this device, and especially the fact that you have the S Pen built in, but it's really gonna come down to how good are the cameras versus the Pixel 6 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Stay tuned for our full review of the S22 Ultra. For Tom's Guide, this is Mark Spoonauer.